Hello everyone and welcome to this deep dive into one of Africa's most ambitious and transformative projects. Today, we're going to take an in-depth look at Kanza City, a remarkable undertaking in Kenya that has captured the world's attention. This isn't just a construction project. It's the blueprint for a new kind of urban life, an innovation hub designed to propel Kenya and the wider region into the digital future. We'll explore its vision, its challenges, its incredible potential, and what a smart city truly means for the people who will live and work there. Get ready to journey with us into the future of urban development. Before we begin our exploration of this monumental project, if you're as excited as we are about innovation and the future of technology, please take a moment to hit that LIK button right now. And if you want to stay ahead of the curve and learn about the most impactful developments shaping our world, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our future videos. The vision and foundation of a digital frontier. Kansas City, often referred to as Kansa Technopolis or Silicon Savannah, is Kenya's flagship smart city project. It is a monumental undertaking. With an estimated cost of approximately $14 billion, situated about 60 kilometers southeast of the capital city, Nairobi. The vision behind Konzer is grand, to create a world-class technology hub that will serve as a global center for business process outsourcing BPO, technology, innovation, education, and research. Conceived under the Kenya Vision 2030 long-term development program, Konza is positioned as a key driver of economic growth and a symbol of the nation's aspirations for a prosperous and digitally empowered future. The project is built on the core principle of a smart city, a concept that integrates information and communication technologies ICT to enhance the quality of life, improve urban efficiency, and foster sustainable economic development. Kanza is designed to be a walkable, mixed-use, high-density city where technology is not just an add-on, but the very fabric of daily life. The plan is to develop the city in four phases over 20 years, with the first phase focus on building the foundational infrastructure to attract anchor tenants and initial residents. The location itself, a sprawling 5,000 docker site, was strategically chosen for its proximity to major transport corridors, including the Jomo Kenyatta International Airport and the Standard Gauge Railway. This connectivity is crucial for attracting both local and international businesses. The project is being developed through a public-private partnership PPP model, with the government providing the land and infrastructure and private investors building the commercial, residential, and social facilities. This model is intended to ensure that the project is not only financially viable, but also benefits from the expertise and resources of the private sector. A city built on intelligent infrastructure. The smart in Kansas City is defined by its cutting edge infrastructure. The entire city is being designed with sustainability, efficiency, and connectivity at its core. First and foremost is the digital backbone. Kanza is being equipped with a state-of-the-art data center, the high-speed fiber optic network that will blanket the entire city. This robust digital infrastructure is essential for supporting a wide range of services, from smart grids for energy management to intelligent traffic systems and digital governance. The idea is that every aspect of the city, from streetlights to waste management, will be connected and optimized for maximum efficiency. For example, a smart waste management system could use sensors in trash cans to alert collection services only when they are full, reducing fuel consumption and optimizing routes. Similarly, a smart grid will monitor energy consumption in real time, allowing for better management and conservation of power. The water and sanitation systems are also designed to be smart. Kanza will feature an integrated water supply and sewerage system that uses advanced monitoring and treatment technologies. The plan includes a wastewater treatment plant that will recycle water for non-potable uses like irrigation, thereby conserving a precious natural resource. Transportation is another key area of focus. Kanza is designed to be a highly walkable and bike-friendly city with dedicated pedestrian and cycling paths. 
For vehicular traffic and intelligent transportation system, we'll use sensors and data analytics to manage traffic flow, reduce congestion, and improve safety. This system could, for instance, dynamically adjust traffic lights based on real-time traffic volume, ensuring a smoother flow of vehicles. The city will also be a testbed for new mobility solutions, including electric public transport and autonomous vehicles. Beyond the physical infrastructure, Kansas' smart city model extends to its social services. The plan is to integrate technology into healthcare, education, and public safety. A smart hospital could use telemedicine and electronic health records to provide more efficient and accessible care. Smart schools could leverage digital learning platforms and educational technologies to provide a high-quality, modern education. In terms of public safety, a network of surveillance cameras and smart sensors will be used to monitor the city, allowing for faster response times to incidents and a safer environment for residents. Economic and social impact, a catalyst for growth. The primary goal of Kansas City is to serve as a major economic catalyst for Kenya and the East African region. The project is expected to create a significant number of jobs, both during the construction phase and once the city is operational, the vision is to generate thousands of direct and indirect jobs in sectors like technology, business services, hospitality, and construction. By attracting international tech companies, startups, and research institutions, Kanza aims to foster a vibrant ecosystem of innovation. This Silicon Savannah is intended to be a place where brilliant minds from across the continent and the world can come together to collaborate on cutting-edge technologies. The presence of these companies is expected to boost foreign, improve the country's balance of trade through tech exports, and drive the overall digitalization of the Kenyan economy. Education is a cornerstone of the Kanza vision. The city will be home to a world-class university campus, which will be a key component of the city's innovation ecosystem. This university will focus on science, technology, engineering, and mathematics STEM fields, producing a skilled workforce that can meet the demands of the digital economy. The presence of this university along with research and development centers, will create a symbiotic relationship between academia and industry, where research directly informs commercial applications. From a social perspective, Kansas City aims to provide a high quality of life for its residents. The city is designed to be a self-sufficient community with a mix of residential, commercial, and recreational facilities. It will feature parks, green spaces, and a vibrant cultural scene. The smart city services, from efficient public transport to connected healthcare, are all intended to make daily life more convenient, healthier, and safer for its inhabitants. The project is also a symbol of national pride, representing Kenya's ambition to become a leader in technology and innovation on the global stage. The roadblocks and realities, challenges on the path to progress. Despite its ambitious vision, the Kansas City Project has faced a number of significant challenges and criticisms. One of the major hurdles has been the pace of development. The project has moved slower than initially projected, largely due to complexities in funding and procurement. The $14 billion price tag is immense, and securing financing from both public and private sources has been a long and arduous process. The global economic climate and changes in government leadership have also contributed to delays. Another key challenge has been land acquisition and the legal framework for the project. While the government provided the initial land, the legal and regulatory structures needed to govern a project of this scale and complexity have had to be carefully developed. The project's reliance on a PPP model, while a strength has also introduced complexities related to negotiating with multiple private partners and ensuring all parties are aligned on a shared vision and timeline. Kanzo Technopolis, also known as Kenya's Silicon Savannah, is an ambitious and visionary project aimed at placing the country on the global map of technology and innovation. It has been designed to diversify Kenya's economy and create new employment opportunities. However, alongside this vision, 
several significant concerns and criticisms have emerged, raising questions about its broader impact and long-term inclusiveness. Many critics have expressed concern over the top-down approach taken in the development of Conzer. This means that most of decisions are being made at higher government and policy-making levels without adequately considering the needs and voices of local communities. When people at the grassroots level are not included in the planning and execution of such a major project, it risks becoming disconnected from their realities and may fail to serve their actual needs. Another major concern revolves around the distribution of jobs and economic benefits. Critics question whether the opportunities created by Kanza will reach a wide segment of the population or remain concentrated among a small group of highly skilled professionals such as software engineers and data scientists. In many high-tech projects, people without advanced education or access to digital training often find themselves excluded from the benefits. There is also a fear that Kanza might end up as an exclusive enclave, a space developed only for a select few, isolated from the rest of the country. If the project becomes disconnected from the broader society and fails to integrate with Kenya's diverse regions, its economic and social benefits may not be widely shared. This could worsen regional disparities, where some areas develop rapidly while others are left behind. Therefore, it is essential that large-scale projects like Conzer be inclusive and people-centered in their planning and execution. Local communities must be involved in the process, and efforts should be made to provide them with the education and training needed to participate in this new digital era. Only then can Conza truly become a driver of national development rather than an isolated and exclusive urban experiment. Additionally, the sustainability of the smart city concept itself has been questioned. The technology and infrastructure are expensive to build and maintain, raising questions about the long-term financial viability of the model. There are also concerns about data privacy and cybersecurity, as a fully connected city will generate vast amounts of data, which must be protected from misuse. These are not insurmountable problems, but they require careful planning and a robust regulatory framework, global context, and future outlook. Kansas City is part of a global trend of smart city development, but it also has its own unique African context, while projects like Mastar, City in Abu Dhabi and Sondo in South Korea offer a blueprint for technological integration. Kanza's success will be measured by its ability to address the specific needs and challenges of a developing nation. This includes creating opportunities for local entrepreneurs, integrating with the surrounding communities, and addressing issues like energy poverty, digital literacy, the future of the Conzer Technopolis project is closely tied to how effectively its initial phases are implemented. Like any large-scale development, the foundation is crucial. If the beginning is strong and timely, it builds investor confidence and creates momentum for future growth. A slow or poorly executed start, on the other hand, can cause delays, cost overruns, and loss of interest from both local and international stakeholders. To ensure success, the government of Kenya and the Kanza Technopolis Development Authority Kata are prioritizing the development of essential infrastructure. This includes the construction of roads, reliable power supply, and a consistent water system basic yet critical services that any modern city must have. Without these foundational elements, no amount of planning or ambition can attract serious investors or residents. One of the key strategies to draw attention and build credibility has been to secure anchor tenants for the project. These are major institutions or businesses that serve as the first occupants and help establish the area's purpose and value. In Kanza's case, projects such as the National Data Center and a new university campus are already underway. These institutions will help establish Kanza as a hub for technology, research, and innovation. These early developments serve as symbols of progress and help build confidence in the long-term viability of the city. 
When investors and citizens see physical structures coming up and institutions beginning to function, they are more likely to believe in the project's future and be willing to contribute to or benefit from it. It turns the idea of Kanza from a paper concept into a tangible, living space. Looking beyond just buildings and infrastructure, Kanza represents something much bigger, a new economic model for Kenya. It aims to move the country away from dependence on traditional sectors like agriculture, the tourism, and towards a future driven by knowledge, innovation, and technology. This shift is in line with global trends and can place Kenya in a strong position within the digital economy. If successful, Kanza will not only transform Kenya's economy, but it will also send a strong message to the world that Africa is ready to be a serious player in the global tech space. This could attract more investment across the continent and change outdated perceptions about Africa's role in innovation and development. However, the road to success is not easy. The project will require massive, ongoing investment, not just in buildings and tech, but also in people. That includes education, training, digital literacy, and support for local entrepreneurs. Without an inclusive approach that empowers ordinary citizens, the benefits of Kanza may be limited to a small elite, as some critics have warned. Finally, long-term success will depend on sustained collaboration between the government, private sector, and the Kenyan people. It's not enough to build a city. A thriving tech ecosystem requires continuous effort, policy support, accountability, and a shared vision. If all these forces come together with genuine commitment, Kanzer has the potential to truly live up to its name, Africa Silicon Savannah. Kanza City is a testament to Kenya's bold ambition. It's a project that combines forward-thinking technology with a vision for economic transformation, aiming to create a thriving hub of innovation and opportunity. While it faces a journey filled with complex challenges, the potential rewards from thousands of jobs and a skilled workforce to a new model for urban living make it a project worth watching closely. It's a powerful statement that the future of technology is not just being imported, but is being built right here, on African soil. We hope this video has given you a comprehensive understanding of the Kanza City Mega Project. What do you think about the future of smart cities in Africa? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And for more fascinating stories about technology, development, and the future of our world, be sure to check out our other videos. Click on one of the videos on your screen now to continue your journey of discovery, and we'll see you in the next one.